Hey guys, uh, today I want to share with you how do I train on my own because a lot of these training uh, take a long time, some of them are hardcore, a lot of my uh, riding buddies uh, are available on the weekends and um, sometimes just for a few hours and then when I need to go for like a long ride, you know, four, five, six, seven hours, uh, it's just the reality of life that uh, training for the car is done solo many times. So uh, for me, uh, what I try and do is prepare the best I can, and this is what I want to share with you today. Basically, I always uh, check the maps before I go to a new area. Today is a perfect example. This is an area I haven't been in. Um, it, usually, it's uh, a snowmobiler's heaven and a biker's heaven in, in summer. Um, I was here a couple of weeks ago. It was all covered with snow, so I couldn't come up so high. Uh, but today, I'm just exploring new trails. Very, very rugged, very rocky, lots of uh, still, you know, a lot of water and, and snow. But anyways, preparation is basically a map. I know where I'm at. My general perception about uh, my location uh, is usually pretty good. So I usually try and stay between uh, mountain ridges and basins. So I know roughly where I'm at uh, and how to get out. But what I do is I also I use this little guy. This is a spot device. This is basically a satellite beacon that is um, personally programmed. Uh, what it means is this device is basically sending uh, my location, the device location, every few seconds, I think every 30 seconds or something or a minute. Um, my wife, uh, Sonia, has an app on her phone where she can follow me live to see where I'm at. And then you can program the device with uh, four different messages. First one is this OK button. And you program everything on the web, so you have to make sure you program it prior to use. But anyways, my okay is, I'm okay out of the woods on my way home, and this is when I'm done and there's no cell reception and I just have to use uh, the device to say that I'm on my way. Second one is a general message. Uh, I program it usually, um, I'm delayed. Nothing serious, I'll touch base in two hours. Because usually if there's a mechanical or something happened, you know, there's no big emergency here. It's just going to take longer to get out. So I just want to make sure that uh, my wife is aware of that. Um, then there is this button here, which is basically covered. Uh, and you open it, you open this and then you can expose the button. This one is when things really get... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're in a bad situation. Either a serious mechanical, serious injury, I just can't get out on my own. This button is programmed to reach my wife and my two best buddies. Basically, it's a text message. They receive it with my coordinates and they know at this point, if they receive the message, something serious happened, they have to come up and get me out. Uh, pick up truck and they know the areas that I train in but basically uh, you know they need to navigate and do their own thing to uh, find me. So this is one that I will press if something serious happened and it's not a total emergency. I know that my buddies can come and get me out. Now this one the SOS right here that's the serious serious injury mechanical something happened I'm lost I just I'm, I'm done I have to have rescue uh, come and get me out. If you press this button, it reaches the uh, spot headquarters. They connect you with the local search and rescue, doesn't matter where you are, wherever they have service around the world. And basically, I'm not positive 100%, but if you don't turn this thing off within 30 seconds or an hour, they actually do deploy actual search and rescue to get you out. So this is my backup. Uh, I have never used it before uh, for anything besides just saying that I'm okay. But uh, in general, uh, this is my, my backup. Uh, the cell phone is with me. Sometimes I have reception, sometimes no. When I do, I do text and just say things are okay. So training is uh, a solo adventure on that level. I've done solo stuff my entire life. There is risk involved, I agree, but this is just the way we train. I try to mitigate the risk by using devices like this. Uh, there's some other stuff out there in the market today that I'm looking into. But overall, uh, you try and do your best, but in order to train, to put the miles in, to get to places where you just have to navigate the terrain and do navigation in new places where you haven't, this is just the way uh, I train. So 
hope that uh, helps to some of you if you're interested in doing some trainings and yes training is awesome with buddies but when you don't have them it's not an excuse not to go out and train so i still do that that's probably i would say 80 percent solo 20 percent um kind of uh, team riding